Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story in the last episode. Bowser's back to his own castle because he apparently has a second star here, so we're gonna have to go ahead and hunt that down. No more side questing, well at least until the later half of this episode. You'll see why in a little bit, but we have a new enemy. These guys are called Jail Goons. Um, when they're attacked, they drop spike balls in the sky, obviously the ones that are above you. You have your little shell shield thing, and then once you punch back at them for counterattacks. These guys are kind of cool for one main reason, that's when you defeat them. And by the way, there's no difference, by the way, if they're bomb bombs or uh, uh, Goombas, but they're actually friendly minions trapped. The, the, the enemies are actually the jail. Like, the Goombas and bomb bombs aren't actually fighting you. They're actually just prisoners. Like, it's literally a jail that can fight you. That's kind of a cool concept, actually, but um, when you defeat them, the minions will actually break free and give you a mushroom as a reward. So once again, Bowser having enemies that can heal him back, always a good thing. And um, that's basically just how you fight them. They have another attack. I'll show them off uh, later. There is absolutely, like I said, no difference between whether there's a bomb mom or a Goomba in there. Um, apparently, there's only those two. No Koopas or Shy Guys or anything trapped in there. Just the bomb moms and the Goombas. You think if you save them, like you'd be like, "Hey, new minion attacks." We're technically saving minions, but it doesn't count. Obviously, doesn't matter. Those minions are not important enough. They're not cool enough. I don't know, maybe like Bowser's means are like elite troops or something, but uh, we need to get to the underground as we learned last time because uh, Fonfo blocked it off, but we have no way of getting there, so we're going to head to the balcony instead because of course when you can't head down, you only want to head up. And we also get Burning Fangs. These are kind of interesting in that um, they double the chances of the flame's burn effect. So that's kind of cool, but I don't tend to use the flame that much, so um, and like I said, I just prefer a health recovery on Bowser. Definitely a very great combination to have is just, you know, his um, a de whatever best defensive weapon, obvious, or weapon, yes, de defensive weapon. That makes perfect sense. Um, you don't really get weapons in this game. Kind of the one thing the Mario and uh, Luigi RPGs lack is actual weapons, like uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, Super Mover Mario RPG game, that one. I don't think, the Paper Mario didn't really have weapons either. But interesting thing, guys, if you head over here, um, remember this room? That's right, that's where Bowser began to pig out and became fat, and you can't actually access the Flab Zone unless Bowser's fat, so we couldn't technically go back there yet. Um, so if for some reason you need to go back there, like you didn't get the attack pieces or something like that, uh, this is the way to go back there. So, as you're going to see in a second here, we're going to go um, take Mario and Luigi down to Flab Zone, and you're going to... Where is Flab Zone? Where, 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 where is... Where is it right here? There it is. I just, I completely forgot where it was, but as you can see, um, the, the, the gaps are too wide now, so we need to sort of fatten Bowser up in order to get this to work, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna eat, and this time it just takes one little thing, apparently his body is just very prone to getting extremely fat really fast. I don't think that's how it works either, like, either he eats really, really much and doesn't die, or he eats a little bit and then just gets extremely overweight. Just, your, Bowser, your metabolism system just freaking seems weird. But uh, if you go over here, with that, um, when you have Flab Zone, you, as you can see, you're now able to access it, and all is K. But if you want to go ahead and get out, uh, first press X, Bowser's going to do some sit-ups and instantly make himself skinny again, because that's how exercise works. Once again, your metabolism system is a little weird. You probably should get that checked out. Yeah, okay, because people can get skinny that visibly fast. Apparently so. But if you ever need to go to Flab Zone, uh, that place is your ticket there. And hello, guy, I forgot about you. Uh, I'm going to punch you in the face, and um, I think this is where we get to see his other attack. Here we go. Or basically, he's going to just charge you with his shield, just punch him repeatedly, and he'll eventually back off, and you'll be good to go. So, um, that's that with that, and I just realized I never got the blitties. Uh, it's a new enemy, I never got a blitty from him. Oops. Um, yeah, ab about that. <laughs> I can't believe, it's been, I guess it's been so long since I've actually just used Bowser that I just completely forgot. Oh yeah, that's right, you get blitties from the new enemies. Whoops-a-daisy. But we'll go ahead and grab some horn here. I actually probably should have got it at level 17, but um, I'll get it instead of... I, I, got, I got power last time. I was supposed to get the horn based on my own internal schematics for leveling up. Or my own internal plan, I suppose, because I'm schematic it's physical. I don't know. My mental plan for leveling up was to get uh, horn then and power then, but I just sort of reversed them, and now we're back on track. Um, and here's the little phrase again, in case you guys care. I don't know if you guys really care about these phrases, but um, if you do, here you go. And we're here in the throne room, because you know in Bowser's Castle, he had to have a throne room. I mean, Bowser's, Bowser's the kind of guy who likes a giant throne. I mean, we, he, we know he's all about looks and the appearances of looking cool. He, he always has been a little vain in a sense, if you think about it. Kind of interesting, but I believe, is there an item? Uh, yeah, there is an item up there. Look at that throne, though. That is a fancy dancy throne. It looks like him. His throne looks like him. That's hubris. Hubris right there. Um, now these are interesting. These are flashy fangs. They are utterly and totally useless, except you can sell them from coins. Not that we need the coins, so I'll just keep them anyway. 
just for the sake of having them there as an option to put on in case I want something completely and totally useless on Bowser for some strange, odd reason. Although, there are plenty of other items that would be pretty close to useless as well. But those ones are completely and totally useless. Anyway, so Bowser, for once in his life, just a miraculous moment right, right here where he's like, huh, giant statue plus giant drop plus giant barricade equals throwing statue over edge and destroying barricade. He has this little pose where he does like the whole um, punching his palm in, in realization. Bowser has gotten a brain, guys. Be afraid. Be very afraid. But in this section, we get to do uh, a little mini game that we've played before, but we've only played it once, so uh, nice that they are going to include it again. This one's not nearly as hard as the first time either. It's actually pretty simple. Um, but the funny thing is, it's Bowser versus his minions, because they're all going to just sort of gang up on Bowser and try to push. We're going to have a little bit of a... Uh, push the statue war here. Bowser versus three boos, two shy guys, three Goombas, two dry bones, and two Koopas. That's a pretty big army. You have a large army, Bowser. An army of how many? Twelve? That's that's intense. That is truly intense. But as you can see, we need to go to the leg outpost. Because we're going to do the leg minigame again. So once again, if you guys don't remember, uh, you press A when Mario is there. You hold it in for a little bit. And then you sort of flip over and then press B for Luigi. And then so on and so forth until you come have both A and B. In which case you push. And then you'll, um, hopefully if you get to the, if you get to the end and you press A and B, like right now, um, you can win. <laughs> They're already squished up against there. Bowser, you are swooshing your minions. And then with one final push, boom! Now, um, you can actually lose this if the minions push you too far back. Um, and if you also, if you screw up the A and B, they will push you pretty far back. But if they push you over the edge, uh, they will, you'll, you'll fall down to a lower area and you'll have to climb all the way back up to the balcony, which really isn't a big of a deal. It's just sort of a time waster. You don't have to lose coins or anything. Just literally a, just a time waster. I love how Bowser follows it down as well, just to add insult to injury. It's not good enough that he cracked the statue. He has to break it into millions of pieces because he's crazy like that. Anyways, so over here we have um, a couple sections where we have to use the body slam in order to get through these little things. Um, and then from there we'll be able to just um, find our way to a path. Uh, first, wherever we can go though, if, uh, the pipe here, you can actually get back to the top. So you can try other paths, so it's not like a one-time pick thing. Um, what we can also do is go over to the left in order to continue onward. And then the last one, the one on the very right, which we haven't done yet, we've done the left one and then we did the middle one first. Uh, the one on the very right will actually lead you back up to the surface, back up to the surface area of Bowser's Castle, as you're going to see in just a moment. Uh, I believe, no, you don't have to, you do have, I think you do have to start to jump over there. But I'll show you the path back to the surface in a little bit, because we're going to have incentive to go back up there very shortly. For now, we're actually going to continue onward, so this one right here, and then we're going to head to the left to move on with our existences. Um, and I believe there's a new enemy over here. Yes, there is. It's a Thwomp with sn who has the Sniffles. That's a Sniffle Thwomp. That's the name. So I think it's Jail Goon and Sniffle Thwomp. And the Sniffle Thwomps are very interesting enemies. A, they can... I think the uh, first enemy they can cause is a Sickness ailment on Bowser. I don't I don't think it shows I show it off. I think it just is pretty similar to poison. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab Bloody from the jail good. I, I, I was hoping you can get both bloodies, but um no we can't get a bloody from the, the uh sniffle flomp. We'll end up getting one next time I fight one. Uh so don't worry, I'll grab the sniffle flomp's bloody as well. Don't have to worry about me. But as you can see you um you remove the cold bag which makes it all hot. It's a thwomp that has a cold and uh what happens is it will take um I think it's I don't know if it's always twenty six, but it, he takes twenty six damage um, if he has a cold bag on, he'll take 26 damage. If you remove the cold bag, he'll take 26 damage times two. So he'll get hit twice instead of once if you remove the cold bag. So I recommend you remove the bag because it'll basically uh, make him take more damage over the t over time, and you know it'll let, it'll let him die faster uh, to the point where he might actually even die on his own. Uh, he can actually die from doing that. I try, but um, you can't actually get a bloody. It turns out um, I didn't know that. So my little script gave it a little interesting experiment. You cannot get two blades from one battle, even if they're two different enemies, unfortunately. And then he just sort of dies from his own thing. Now, of course, for the attacks, as you saw, um, very interesting because um, if you do your shell too early, as you saw, he notices that you did the shell, and he'll stop. Um, so you want to time your shell the last possible second, or to, um, for, uh, his momentum will carry you into the shell. And you can also counterattack him a punch after you uh, knocked him back. Other attacks, um, I don't think we saw one of them, I'll t we'll, so we'll talk more about that attack in, uh, later, uh, when we actually see it. But he also can, um, if, if, he, if he sort of has that little uh, fever thing, he'll, uh, st it, it doesn't matter if you have the, he does these attacks whether or not you get rid of the cold bag. But sometimes he'll get too sick, he'll stop early, and he'll just drop in front of you, and then you can punch him and uh, just end the attack early. So keep that in mind as well. He does have another attack, like I said, but we're going to see that next time, because in the rest of this episode, guys, I know you guys are probably sick of side quests, but we're reaching a point where we're almost pretty much uh, done, or we're, we're going to lose Bowser for quite a while. 
which is actually gonna suck because I um I was looking I actually have already recorded this so uh, I already reached the, the point of no return but there's actually a few some um, little uh, side quests of Bowser I actually missed like I just little hidden areas because this game this game has so many hidden areas my goodness but um we'll at least get pick up the the uh, the bomb uh, Madame broke event. Or is it Men I'm Broke or is it something else? I really don't even know. I, I probably should look this up at some point because I'm probably saying it wrong. Everyone's probably like, dude, you guys are doing this wrong. But um, yeah. As you can see, we have a new um, and we have new move, Bomb on Blast. What you do is you drag the bombs to form to, so, so they basically hit enemies. Um, you just put as many bombs as you want um for the enemies that you want to hit, and then if they're lined up correctly, they'll run over. They go in a horizontal line. They'll run over and they'll just bomb the enemies. If you uh, if you don't line them up correctly, though, they'll move past them and they won't do any damage at all. So it's all about sort of horizontal positioning of the enemies, and you'll see that a lot in the uh, upcoming challenge because it's all about horizontally positioning the bomb bombs correctly in a very fast amount of time, which makes it really tough. Actually, this is a, definitely a really tough one. Also, Bowser definitely just blew himself up. Whoopsie daisy. But I'm going to take this opportunity to show you the way out in case you want to go do this. I do recommend you do this now because you won't really get another opportunity to do this until way later in the game. And that's a little bit unfortunate. So if you want to do this um, anytime decently soon, you, you should probably do it now. Because there's really no way back from here. Uh, I guess I'm kind of slightly spoiling it, but uh, so this, this is definitely one of the last major Bowser areas in the game. Um, I mean, the, like I said before, the early game focuses a lot on Bowser. But then uh, later on, it focuses a lot more on Mario and Luigi. We're getting to the point where it's going to focus a lot on Mario and Luigi for uh, um, at least a while. And um, I'll have to go back. I think I missed a Bowser. I'll just have to go back and grab. I know there's a few things I did miss. I'll just grab them, you know, next. Um, we'll, we'll grab them in later side quest segments. There's still other things. Um, there, There's going to have to be another Bowser's um, run around side quest anyway, because there is still new moves to learn for Bowser. Uh, so once we learn those moves, we have to go back around the world and get those, you know, adding extra stuff we can get there anyway. So it's not a big deal. But boy, there is a lot you can unlock once you hit the body slam. Like I didn't even realize there was that much to do once you hit the body slam. Anyway, the best way to get back to uh, Madam Broke or Madam whatever the heck her name is, uh, you have to go ahead and go up here and uh, go to the warp zone, obviously, because if you guys remember correctly, there's a warp zone right here. The nice thing is, is, it's right next to the entrance to the underground, so you can uh, always go back there. Also, I, um, I, I did get managed to shuffle on those Boo Koopa conversations. I didn't realize they are still there. I kind of love those Boo and Koopa, even though they're kind of creepy with their interspecies love. A little sort of weird, but anyway, uh, skip ahead to the challenge, because I don't want to show the whole way, walk back through Blubble Lake. But that is literally the closest... Uh, Chalk Road to this area, so it's kind of a pain in the ass to have to go rock all the way back out here. Uh, traveling around is not nearly as easy. Oh, it's Bomb on Blitz. What did I, did I say something else? I don't remember. Bomb on Bash. Bomb on Bomb. Yes, that would be the name. <laughs> bomb on Bomb. We're gonna have some Bomb on Bomb action. Haha. <laughs> but as you can see, it starts early. Only two bombs per hit. I will obviously increase, and of course, the time will go down. Uh, well, I mean, it'll go back up once you get more bombs. But then you know, it'll steadily decrease. So it's like sort of like five sections because I think I believe it goes up to six bombs if I remember correctly. I believe the score is 150, which is not easy because as you can see, um, you don't have that much time to line everything up. You have to line everything up perfectly. She does move around as you can see, so um, you do always have to you know you can't always put them in the same spot every time. She does move around. Now my recommendation is because she's a block shape. If you um, what you could notice is. Um, even though, you know, her corner, I guess a lot of people would be at, you know, sort of aim at the corner, but because of, I guess, her slight three-dimensionality, um, you can actually aim more for the lo her lower corner, like the lower part of the block, um, you know, her, what it would be, the lower right corner in this case, and it'll still hit, so, um, it's very easy to misjudge and accidentally go above her too high, um, and you have a lot more, more room below than you think, so you might want to aim, it's the, like, you know, Go to the nearest line and then aim a little bit below that if you can. Oh, I screwed that one up actually. Uh, that was a little bit too low. But um, so, but also you know, the way to do this, I screwed up again. Um, the way to do this is to basically use the lines on the floor because the lines on the floor will give you a good um, way of horizontally judging them. And then you just have to be really fast lining it properly and just like you know, know how I guess wide her pix her, her sprite is. And I just sort of gave up at that point. Um, as usual, you know, I script the first several, and then I'll show the one that I'm successful in. So, uh, upcoming success coming up right now, because these modes, they do take a while. They take a lot of practice to get done, so it took a while, but I did master it eventually. This thing is, this is definitely tough, because you, you have to line these things up really fast, and you get any sort of, like, little, you know, it's very precision uh, touchscreen stuff to do, so it can be pretty tricky. Uh, you want to just quickly bring them up. You want to be, you know, be very quick with your placements. Um, you have to sort of just, at some point, you have to just sort of trust your gut 
and just either get it right in the first time or you're screwed because you're gonna just have too many bombs. You're gonna have to use up all your time just to move the bomb, you know, every bomb over there. Let alone, you know, have time to adjust your positioning. Although you can adjust uh, like for a split, a few split seconds after the time's out, like while they're moving, as long as they're in the box, you can actually adjust their position. So even while they're moving, you can uh, lower them slightly if you need to. But other than that, you want to basically, you know, you, you want to be really fast about doing this, and hopefully, hopefully you can get it to be to work out properly. Anyway, it is sort of, I mean, it seems like a, a long price. We're only at 26 so far. But do remember that we're going to get more bombs. You know, once we get up to six bombs, obviously it's going to go a lot faster. So I guess, you know, it, 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 it does go faster than you think it would just based on the early, you know, times. Because obviously if we only do two bombs around, it's going to go a lot slower than you know, when you're doing six bombs around. It's three times faster. So once we get up to that level, um, it definitely is going to go a lot faster. We'll eventually we'll, we'll reach 150 before you know it. And we'll take our prize. I don't even remember the prizes. I, I'm completely am blanking what the bomb on blitz prize is. I know all the other. I, well, I don't know all the other ones. Well, I know I do. I do know all the other ones. I, I off the top of my head. Um, but the bomb on blitz one. What do you get for this? I totally forget. Oh well, I guess it's no big deal. We'll find out in just a little bit because we are going to get to the 150, and all will be well. Barely made that one. See, look, just look at the time. You like you do not have a lot of time to adjust all these bombs. There are a lot of bombs here, and we're up to five at a time here. We only get three seconds to adjust all of them, so you have to be really fast about this. I mean, now that we move up to five, it's pretty easy. But as you can see, the time's going down. We're, up to two, we're down to 250. It's probably going to go down to like two seconds, 1.5 seconds, um, when we get to the whole, um, before we hit get six bombs at a time. So we're down to, yeah, about 2.2 seconds. It gets pretty tough overall. So you really, I mean, definitely use the floor lines. The floor lines are sort of the key to helping you out here. Um, just sort of like use those to adjust accordingly, and then hopefully able to do it. right up to 100 of those. So as you can see, it's going a lot faster now. Uh, I believe this is where we start getting six. No, it's gonna be, it's gonna be soon. I think we get six. I mean, the main attack actually does give you six bombs, so eventually I believe they do do that. But um, the time is just getting really short now. Um, yeah, there we go. That that's six now. So uh, just at least you only have to do um, you only have, you don't have to do six for that long. I think it's only like, like six times to do for six in order to get to 150. And we haven't even screwed up yet, so so far things are going pretty decently. Um, like most challenges, you don't want to screw up till the very end because it does get a lot tougher at the end. Um, now, I guess in this one it really doesn't because um, you do get a lot of extra time once it switches to six. So as long as you can handle there being six bombs, I mean you'll be fine. Although as you can see, it is getting already pretty crazy. It did make it without losing a single one yet though. But as you can see, the time is just getting way, way fast now to handle six bombs. Like we have like maybe a second. So. Uh, at the end, it definitely does get down. You're going to be really hard-pressed to get anything higher. Yeah, like, just the time at that point just gets absolutely ridiculous. You have to go so fast for this one. But we win. What do we What do we win? Uh, we win Fury Band. Um, what does that do? I, I know we already have the one that uh, makes it more likely to get furious. I think this one increases your power when you're furious, if I remember correctly. Um, now, why you would want that over the... I mean, as you can see... Getting Fury is not that easy, because I haven't even gotten Fury yet, which is actually kind of surprising, because I remember it not being that hard to get in the past. But, um, it worries your attack power. Obviously, we haven't been Furious enough for that to be a big deal. Now, I mean, you could... I, I don't know if the Fury... Um, if the other item about with Fury is, um, you're able to do that, and I totally missed that. But anyway, if you want to use a Fury thing, it's a good item. But for now, guys, this is Lucky70X, signing out. I'll see you guys next time for more Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. We're going to go back underground and find the second Stark here. Alright, guys, bye-bye.